All right. Um, that's exactly how we used to make fun of them, too. Um, so in this next one, we think about sine. We say, oh, sine is just like which one? Which angle? Cosine is just like? Sine is just like? Cosine, guys. It's just the transformation. We just did these on the board. So this, this can be rewritten as cosine. Secant is an even function, so therefore the secant of a negative angle is still going to be secant of x. Is that the same problem we had over there? Nope, it's very similar, though. So again, though, since we did that problem, don't you guys kind of see it's, it's probably best to rewrite this in terms of cosines right, and leave the cosine there alone? Because that's what was easiest in that problem. And that's why I've given you guys so many of these problems, because when you guys do these, you're going to start noticing these patterns. You're going to be like, oh. OK, so now I kind of know what to look for and what I want to do. So therefore, we can rewrite this as cosine of x over 1 over cosine of x. To get rid of that in the denominator, I'll just multiply by cosine of x cosine squared of x. Got it? 